Metropolis is Houston. Contact, can you support a quick remoting check at this time? Certainly can, all configured. This is Houston. Contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. End of test. Houston, contact, honeysuckle. Roger. Okay, we checked all four systems, and you uh, go on modulation, all four, and keying was a go. Roger, you're loud and clear here also. Voice control, Houston, contact net too. Voice control. Roger, honeysuckle is go. Put him back in conference, please. Roger. Thank you. in that order. Okay, we copy that. Track six in that order. Okay, we copy that. Track six in that order. Okay, we copy that. Right. And Dave and Jim, uh, this will be probably our last uh, documentary. And it's got some chips in it. That's back four, five, six, Bob. Copy that. That's back four, five, six, Bob. Copy that. Proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. 870. 
with a predicted of 800. Well, I'm get it in the the total right. average beam of 870 with a predicted of 800. Well, I'm get it in the the right. total average beam. on this pan. Let's see. 
Do NASA moon pictures with same background prove Apollo landings were fake? These two NASA images, supposedly of different areas of the moon, prove the Apollo landings were really filmed in a studio, it has astonishingly been claimed. Moon landings hoax conspiracy theorists claim to have found an identical backdrop in two different pictures from the Apollo 15 fourth lunar landing mission in 1971. The pictures are said by NASA to have been taken some miles apart on the moon during the mission. They were apparently taken from different locations, as in one the lunar module is there and tracks are visible. In the other, there is a more rocky surface seen in the foreground. But, conspiracy theorists claim to have proved the scenes were both staged in a studio, with the same background. They have laid the two pictures over each other and claim the backgrounds match and perfectly overlay each other. Moon hoax believer David Percy, who has been an associate of the Royal Photographic Society, believes images were manipulated, and in the case of these two pictures a set backdrop was used for both. He does not believe it would be possible for an identical horizon to have appeared from pictures taken in different locations. He said, our research suggests that images of the Apollo landings are not a true and accurate record. In our view the Apollo pictures were faked. Many of the images are replete with inconsistencies and anomalies. NASA categorically denies all claims its moon landings were hoaxed. In terms of these pictures, it says because the moon is smaller than Earth, horizons appear closer to the human eye than they really are, and may therefore look the same from different viewpoints. The debunking website bardastronomy.com has also investigated the claims in detail and concluded they are genuine pictures, and therefore the moon landings were unlikely to have been hoaxed. In an article about the two pictures, Ian Williams Goddard said, examination of the photographic archive of the Apollo 15 mission clearly proves that the mountains in the background are large and distant enough that they can be seen and look similar from myriad points of view with or without the lander in the foreground. Get in now. 